From explosive sprints to flawless technique, Sydney McLaughlin is proving herself as the best in the world. In her recent races, she has shown that no one is near her level, leaving Femke Bowl and others amazed. Discover how Sydney is dominating the track like never before. Sydney McLaughlin's performance in the 400 meter hurdles has been nothing short of extraordinary. She set a new world record with a time of 50.37 seconds, leaving even her toughest competitor, Femke Bowl, far behind. Her. This achievement is not just a victory, it redefines what excellence means in the event. To dominate in sports is to consistently outshine the competition, making winning seem almost unavoidable. Sydney McLaughlin is creating her own era of dominance in the 400 meter hurdles and her impact on the sport is profound. Over the past few years, Sydney has been unstoppable. She has broken the world record six times and won gold medals at both the Olympics and World Championships. Since 2019, she has not lost a single race in the 400 meter hurdles, solidifying her status as a living legend in the sport. Her consistent ability to surpass even her own achievements sets her apart as one of the greatest athletes in track and field. On the other hand, Femke Bull represents the future of the sport. Her rise has been nothing short of remarkable. In just a few years, she has gone from being a promising young talent to one of the top athletes in the world. Bull has steadily improved her times, breaking national records and regularly appearing on the podium at major championships. She's one of only two women alongside Sydney to have run the 400 meter hurdles in under 51 seconds. Bull's rapid ascent has made her a fierce competitor for Sydney, setting the stage for a thrilling rivalry. The 400 meter hurdles final at the Paris Olympics was one of the most eagerly anticipated events of the games and it did not disappoint. From the moment the race began, it was clear that Sydney McLaughlin Lavrone was in a class of her own. She took control of the race from the start, quickly establishing a lead that she never gave up. By the halfway point, it was evident that the other athletes were racing for silver as Sydney was far ahead. Sydney's race plan was perfect. She kept up an extremely fast pace the whole way, using her well-practiced steps to stay quick over each hurdle. As she neared the final stretch, it was clear she wasn't just racing the other athletes, she was also battling the clock. When she crossed the finish line in 50.37 seconds, she won the gold medal and set a new world record, solidifying her place as the best 400 meter hurdler ever. I, I credit all that I do to God. I, he's given me a gift, he's given me a drive to I uh, just want to continue to improve upon myself and I have a platform and I want to use it to glorify him and so. Meanwhile, Femke Bull put up a strong effort but could not match Sydney's pace. Despite being one of the few athletes capable of running under 51 seconds in the event, Bull found herself trailing behind both Sydney and Anna Cockrell, who finished second. Bull's performance was commendable, but it wasn't enough to challenge Sydney's dominance in this race. The event showcased the significant gap between Sydney and the rest of the field even among the world's best athletes. Sydney McLaughlin Lavrone's victory in the 400 meter hurdles was not just about her physical abilities, it was also a display of her technical mastery, mental sharpness, and energy efficiency. One of the key factors behind her dominance in the event is her advanced stride patterns. Unlike many hurdlers who stick to a consistent stride pattern, Sydney has developed the ability to alternate her lead legs. This might seem like a minor detail, but it gives her a significant advantage. By being able to switch lead legs effortlessly, Sydney can maintain her rhythm even if she encounters a minor setback during the race, such as an uneven stride or a slight misstep. Her mental sharpness is equally remarkable. Track and field, especially events like the 400 meter hurdles, require not just physical endurance but also intense mental focus. Sydney's ability to stay calm under pressure, make quick decisions, and execute her race strategy with precision sets her apart from her competitors. Her exceptional coordination, demonstrated by her ability to juggle or effortlessly shoot baskets, reflects a strong mind-body connection, which is crucial in a race where every millisecond counts. The 400-meter hurdles is one of the toughest events in track and field, demanding that athletes balance speed and endurance. Sydney McLaughlin Lavrone's ability to manage her energy throughout the race is a key factor in her consistent high-level performances. She knows when to push herself and when to hold back, making sure she has enough energy left for a strong finish. This balance of technical skill, mental sharpness, and efficient energy use makes her nearly unbeatable in this event. While Sydney executed a near-perfect race, Femke Bowl faced her own set of challenges that might have cost her a chance at gold. One of the most interesting aspects of Femke's performance at the Paris Olympics Olympics was her involvement in the 4x400 meter mixed relay earlier in the games. 
Some track analysts suggest that her remarkable split time in the relay, just days before the hurdles final, might have taken more out of her than expected. In the relay, Femke ran an incredible 47.93 second split, helping her team secure a gold medal. However, the physical toll of that effort might have left her legs a bit drained for the 400 meter hurdles final. The 400 meter hurdles is already an exhausting event, and the additional demands of a high stakes relay so close to the final could have affected her performance more than she anticipated. There's also the question of whether Femke's focus on team success might have come at the expense of her individual goals. Femke is known for her dedication to her country and her team, and her decision to give her all in the mixed relay was undoubtedly motivated by a desire to bring home gold for the Netherlands. But in a sport where the margins between victory and defeat are minor, even a slight dip in energy or focus can make the difference between gold and bronze. By prioritizing her team's success, Femke may have unintentionally sacrificed her best chance at individual glory. Sydney McLaughlin Lavrone isn't just an amazing athlete, she's a rare talent with a natural gift for sports. Her success comes from her outstanding athletic intelligence. She quickly picks up and excels in different sports and activities. Whether running on the track, working out in the gym, or playing basketball, Sydney's ability to use her body effectively makes her stand out. Her high school coach once mentioned how she easily made five three-pointers in a row, even though she wasn't a basketball player. This kind of skill shows her natural ability to handle physical tasks with accuracy, which is crucial in a tough sport like hurdling. Sydney's coordination and focus are crucial to her success. These skills show up not just in running, but also in activities like juggling. Picture juggling several objects while talking. This takes a special kind of hand-eye coordination and mental concentration that few athletes have. Sydney uses this same coordination to easily clear hurdles. In hurdling, timing is crucial. Even a tiny mistake can cause a stumble. Sydney's great coordination helps her keep her form and speed over each hurdle, making her races look nearly effortless. What truly makes Sydney unbeatable is the combination of her physical abilities, mental agility, and natural talent. It's not just that she's fast, she's also incredibly smart in how she races. For example, Sydney has the rare ability to alternate her lead leg during a race. Most hurdlers have a dominant leg they prefer to lead with, but Sydney can switch it up depending on the situation. This allows her to maintain her rhythm and speed no matter what. This kind of adaptability is rare and is one of the reasons she's been able to set world records and win Olympic gold medals with such consistency. After watching Sydney McLaughlin Lavrone dominate the 400 meter hurdles, one might wonder what's next for Femke Boll. Is she down for good or can she come back even stronger? While Sydney has set the bar incredibly high, Femke's talent and determination suggest that she's not out of the game yet. That's all for this video.